You know, I find the most awful day is the day before your birthday. So I like to celebrate that as the last day of being that age. You know, you say goodbye to that year and it closes. So thank you for sharing that with me. And I spent my birthday. Then I went out after I did the readings. I got spoiled. And presents. Oh, the presents. I'll show you in the next video. So I got some beautiful star earrings and taken for drinks and spoiled and given um, gifts. So I want to say thank you, Akur and Rick. And um, all those who gave to me as well. Thank you very much. Special thanks to Cynthia and to Butterfly77443. <laughs> ah, how are you? Remember in the Heart Dwellers Land, we went to the courts of heaven, right? And we plead the blood and we have a witness because the devil is there, right? And you have to say, I object. So this is your objection today if you haven't done it already. But what I'm seeing is this spiritual court. Because I was thinking, how do those things happen? What is the transference of wealth? I don't understand how that can happen. And God said, my thoughts are not your thoughts. Ah, thank goodness for that. But then a friend came to me and she said, you know, I went to battle. About humiliation in the workplace against me. Thank you, thank you. Sana's here in the house. All the way from Toronto, Heart Dweller, thank you, Fire Master. We're in the Kundalini right now. So um, she said she went to battle and she took them on. And we all know that that's one of the hardest things here in 3D to go to HR. You go through a process. Hello? So you may have been going through a process, right? Because it manifests down here. So that may be the process that you have to go through for the portal to open for you to achieve your, receive, sorry, your compensation. Now, when you're in the courts of heaven, your compensation is not always financial. However, in this case, right, God gave me evidence by my friend's story. She said, I went for this, this amount and I got this amount. And when you take it from that amount to that, it seemed like it was only a third of what she wanted. Right? But from nothing, it was unreal. So we went to the courts of heaven. Not here. Heaven. We're in a kingdom. And we plead the blood of Jesus in the courts. And we have our Holy Spirit as our witness. Because the devil's in the court. And we're saying objection. Right? I don't agree with that. That is not me. I have a witness and I'm here pleading the blood. And if you did that in any way, shape or form, right? Because this is a closing of a cycle that opened on the 21st of December, 2021. This is closing on the 22nd of December, 2022. Right? So that's a huge cycle that you've been through. And I think it was halfway through that cycle we went to the courts of heaven. So it takes a while for it to manifest down here. So we're going to do a reading here on how it comes to you. I'm just introducing the reading so you know where I'm coming from because I'm channeling this through the Holy Spirit. So it's not for everybody. Right? It's just for the wise ones. So let's have a look here. We're doing a snapshot here. Regarding your compensation, God wants you to know. Right? You put up with that spiritual, psychological warfare. That's post-traumatic shock disorder. That's somebody continuously for a 12-month cycle. Right? Blocking things for you. And I was like, oh. Because, you, you know, I'm more spiritual, not so 3D. But I've done it in the 3D. Yeah, we remember. We went to the court. And we annihilated, or we, the power of the blood, right, annihilated the devil's objection, like the devil. The prosecution against you. Let's have a look. All you have to do is stand up and say, I see that, I object. I stand here on my father's prayer. So you can say the Lord's speaking. Stand with your father on the Lord's prayer. And you're telling him... You're with him and you're telling them, I object. So this is anything that comes into your vibration that is lower. Now, you don't have to go into the mental about it. You just have to go into the feelingization. Does it make you feel low? If it's attacking your power center, right, then that's not for you. Also, I want to talk a little bit about here, God said the indecision, how indecision 
robs you of your present moment, but also he showed me like it's the delusion, right? So if you're, hi there, thanks for being here, many, many ears, may, show me um, Marie, <laughs> her name and location and star sign so I can start learning them. But listen, we're going from delusion to illusion to reality. So when you're in indecision, you're in a delusion because you think you've got a choice, but really you're sitting there made a decision. Indecision, not making a decision is making a decision, yes? So you're sitting there in indecision, which is robbing your time and energy and the present moment. This is the robber, indecision. And then you think you have a choice, but really in the indecision, that's the delusion, you step into the illusion and you realise not making a decision is making a decision. That's the illusion. Now you're in reality. Now you're like, okay, so I've made a decision, but I'm thinking I've got choice and I'm in the energy of indecision, which is no man's land. <laughs> it's just an analogy. Like, I love the example. And then you come back into reality and you go, whoa, right? So this is what your power has done. Your spiritual warfare has done. It's taken away the delusion and then wiped away the illusion. So people are standing around you in reality, right? So that doesn't look good and that's hard to take. People don't like reality because it's like they have to look at themselves. And there are two factions we're working with here, service to self or service to others. And this is what the polarization is closing for this solstice. This is the determination. So what you've been doing is helping people determine because most people are sitting in the delusion of indecision. And it's closing on the 22nd. So that's a free will choice, right, to polarise to reality so that you can actually get into actuality. Does that make sense? I love it. I couldn't figure it out, but I love that example. Thank you, Father. So we're just going to do a snapshot here. Right about everybody around you now is finding reality. Right, and you're deciding here who comes with me and who gets left behind. It's really an energetic decision that's already made. And what you're going to see is the energy of the um, the unpolarized to new earth people. I'll call them unpolarized, right? Unawakened still in the delusion and the illusion, they fall away from your life. And that creates the space, right, for these blessings. Now, when we say a payout, we're talking about a payout in the kingdom. So the kingdom is, there's nothing impossible. <laughs> Selah. So if you need a miracle, you're getting a payout. For what you went through, it's trauma-based psychological narcissism. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. It is though, because you've survived it, right? So it's been a traumatic 12 months. And I see here, it's because the template is of light coming from the fifth dimension down, right? Had to go through the darkness, the fourth dimension. And you kicked major butt. Even though you think, right, maybe you... Um, lost out materially or maybe you don't think that you found your perfect partner yet right or maybe you think that you're not in your life purpose yet that was your life purpose you just lived it this is your purpose but you need to survive it so we're looking at um a little bit of compensation compensation from the kingdom solaris right the sun is um, expanding and hitting light codes, right? Five million miles per hour. Anyway, I don't know what that means either, but that's energy from the sun. God works through it to give you plasma light codes of the highest vibration of light. So he's showing me now that we need to raise our vibration to receive the blessing. And you've only got two more days. Right? So the enemy's got two more days. Ah! To get you back into the illusion. Because then you're closer to the delusion, yes? 
But you've got to get him from reality back into actuality, which is I don't care either way. I am. And in that space, you will receive everything that you need. So God's saying you don't just receive a payout, you receive a constant stream, like you're plugged in now. It's like doing irrigation, right, on a farm. You've done the irrigation, you've got to dig, dig, dig. We went through all that, that's spiritual warfare. And now you've got a well in the backyard. Huh. Doesn't look like it in 3D though, right? Looks like this. Looks like I'm not going nowhere. Nothing's working out for me. If I do this, that looks like it'll blow up. Like this is being stuck in a minefield here. Right? And I don't have any money. See the material stuff. See how it's, there's nothing. It has to be clear. God's going to show his glory. Oh, I never said that before my life. So you've got to snap those cords out. You've got to get out of the delusion. Into the illusion. Then you can see it. And then you go into reality, right? And this is where you are. So the devil is lost. We know that anyway. I was like, oh, so we got... Um, so I was just talking to Yeshua in the park. It's divine compensation. Thank you. Divine compensation. I need words, see. And Jesus is the wordsmith because of this. Because of what the... You know when you give somebody the benefit of the doubt and you think that must be so obvious to them that that's happened. So you allow the energy, right? And then they just disappear. They don't redeem themselves. They don't acknowledge what they did. And in that space, right, this is where the toxic attachment has no power over you. It's an illusion. Oh my gosh, stop it. Right? So this is where you are right now. This is suspended in animation. This is going to be two days of this. Right? This is like waiting for the courier to arrive. Right? Just keep hanging in there. It's only one more spin of the wheel. It's the best opportunity ever. You have not missed out. Do not give up. This is a message. Do not give up. Two days. Right? So this is where... Um, it's your mind space that you're guarding, right, here. See how her crown's lit up? So when we talk like that, right, I'm learning that if I say you've got a massive activation in your crown chakra, then the dark side will attack the crown, right? Not that I say that, but if it's happening. Because the memory codes, right, this is what the Holy Spirit revealed to me. This blows my mind. When I said in a reading, the memory codes of divine masculine are awakening, right? Then they show me the voodoo. There's African voodoo here. Voodoo do, right? By people that aren't very, anyway, not very well. That's done on the memory. You know, like men in black? I used to joke about that. I go, well, just men in black that. They are doing spells in black magic voodoo. Right? To erase the memory that they did wrong in the past. Whoa! Because they're doing the inverted opposite and we're receiving. So Divine Masculine's karmic is doing magic on him to forget what she's done. Right? Whatever that is. The memory codes erasing them at the same time that we are activating our memory codes. Can you see that duality? It has to, it has to exist. So there's no more shock, horror, oh my gosh, why are they doing that? It's like it's always going to be like the pendulum swing to the degree that the, your power is, is the degree to which you will fight. So this is like going to the spiritual. Right? This is the sacred love codes of God. Look, sacred love codes. Let's have some. He said they come out of the sun. They're just sacred love codes in your energy. You're activated. Look. See, you don't see this in yourself because it's a spiritual energy. You're being anointed with it. There's an anointing. <laughs> Hallelujah. The next three weeks, right? You're going to easily 
move into change. This is a, um, a transformation to receive. Right? This is like the abandoned orphan being adopted by the king. Hallelujah. There's a new you. You're going to burst forth. right? So just know the next two days we need to band together. Happy birthday, whoever's birthday it is today. Better, the energy is better the day after, I told you. This is my day after. I'm coming to share it with you. So here we are. Look, the death underneath. There's a huge space clearing, right, for your manifestation to occur. So if something just totally collapses in your life in the next two days, you go, hallelujah. We have to trick ourselves. If we can trick ourselves into a delusion, we can trick ourselves into everything's working for us. And that's really reality. That's truth. That's actuality. If you believe in the universe and the vibration and God's plan and that you're his child, he's going, I set myself forth in you. I'm like, uh, what? And he said, remember, I set myself forth in, into Mary's womb. And I said, the angel first. This is what he's showing me last night. He's like, like this light came down into the womb of Mary. He said, an angel. I'm like, oh. He himself, he goes, that was me. I sent myself forth. And I showed you how to live on the earth. So, let me download. And I was like. So in that moment, I came into actuality, right? Which was, that's what he's done with all of us. We are all him. He sent himself forth. And if he never, if Jesus never came, we'd be like, you know, why don't you send yourself here to show us and as, as an example what to do, right? And free us from this slavery, right? So I was out. I wasn't, I'm not religious. So I was out and I was open and I was opening to other things, right? Just say Jesus isn't, is, that's not the way and that isn't. So I'm just going to blank that out and go to other things like Dolores Cannon and go to, you know, and research. They all come back to the energetics of the physical heart that needs to release the resentment, it's forgiveness. And I was like, ah, oh, you all come back to the same thing. That's why God sent Jesus in the first place. So blah, I found it. So this is the alignment here. And look at this. Your compensation for your wisdom. Even if you think you didn't handle it very well. Even if you think you were, it was atrocious and you had a meltdown and blah, blah, blah. You did well. Letting go of resentment and forgiving. So you can sit there. God made me sit down with him last night on my birthday night, which you're normally having cake. Where's the cake? Yeah. Anyway, here it is. And he said, why don't you? I said, don't tell me. <laughs> forgive, forgive him or something or forgive someone. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do what God showed us in the masculine reading is to, to eradicate and clear the spiritual warfare. The best thing to do is go and bless people. You say, God bless you. And you say, in the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Do it in your energy field. If anything is annoying, it comes up and you want to bless them because then you're sending out blessings, right? You're not here working for the devil anymore. You're now working for God. Because you're blessing them in the name of Jesus Christ. And that's what comes back to you. So when you find resistance in the blessing, ah, that's when you're going to go deeper. And when you do it, you clear your energy. And you get to the highest vibration for birthing the codes. Right? This is new energy birthing. And look, the courts of heaven have spoken. Justice. This seems like justice for a divine feminine here. Who went through spiritual torment. That actually is like, now you're a super champion at it. But in 3D, it doesn't look like it. Some of you may be very unassuming, right? People don't really know how switched on you are. The high priestess doesn't share everything. But this is victorious in the spiritual realm. So we were asking what they are. And it's like a rebirth, right, of your fire. It's your kundalini fire. There's a rebirth. 
So you're being steered in a new direction. Just really be careful in the next three weeks. For God's sake, three weeks. Three weeks it's going to take for this to spin completely around and give you a jackpot, right? But it's going to come in increments. Your payout comes in increments. Everything that was taken from you, all the emotional turmoil, right, and the wasting or loss of time and opportunities is going to be returned to you. So let's have a look at that. We'll do an extension on that. Do you love that? Jeremiah, I see a branch of the watchful tree. I love you, Kenneth. God bless you. Thanks for being here. I love it. The word of light. So we've got hands of light if you do Reiki. We've got words of light from the Father. And remember, and I was thinking, what else do we have? I was doing symbols of light, words of light. And then I was thinking, there's something else. This is what I mean by, you know, you be patient with yourself. It was hands of light. And I'm a Reiki master. I have hands of light. And I was like, oh, yes. So we're in the light. So this is your warfare, is to bless. Give out what you would like to receive, right? And then look, we're going to do a snapshot here on your spiritual blessings. Spiritual blessings, look. This is you sitting in reality. Right? You've got to get into actuality. That's the next step back, and that's when you get your full downloads. And that's what you're asked to do in the next two days to complete the cycle. Because all the, um, whoa, I just saw that on a macro scale, right? All the courts of heaven have spoken. So there's delivery. And this is going to be in all areas. Ooh. Like this is going to be in, um, all industries, I mean, here. How this comes to you, right, is... That's what's going to blow your mind. So how it makes its way to you in 3D is none of your business. But we're just going to go into Lily, right? She's busy, with, she's busy noses. That's why anything that you'd like to share with us, Holy Spirit. So you get downloads in your intuition to get into the actuality, right? Get back into the react like the present moment. Ooh. Yeah, so the, this next three weeks, right, this is going to include a whole orientation, a reorientation of your life, especially your emotional life, because gone are the days where you worry, doubt and fear. This is about um, a partnership, right, that ignites your spark, right, inspires you. You feel like you're the one dancing on the lily pads all the time. Whoa, this guy's in love. Oh, and he's on fire. So he's on fire for love. We like him. Oh, look at him. Oh, look out. Right, so this, you don't have to do a reading on him. He's going to be at the door on fire telling you. I got a cold and chalice of love for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Will you marry me? Let's see where you get that. Right? So this person was as upset as you were. This is an emotional reading regarding your... See this? This is this is getting into reality. See? But you've got to do the three stages. You've got to get out of the delusion. When you think that you're making a decision about something and you're in indecision, you're in the delusion. Then you realise, oh... Not making a decision is actually making a decision. That's the illusion. Then you get into reality and you go, whoa, I just wasted time. That's just a tactic of the enemy. To waste time, to run my clock out, my life clock, sitting in indecision. Delusion, illusion, now reality sets in. There's an awakening. And I said to somebody the other day, I said, how do you, like, that's how you know sometimes that the depth of your love is to the depth of how unfulfilled you are. 
right? Because it wouldn't hurt so much if you didn't love so much. If you don't love somebody, you don't care about them, you don't want to see them, you don't have this, you know, energetic chemistry, it's like you don't care. All right, so there's something in that. As a golden little piece of gold, God said, a golden chestnut. <gasps> Imagine planting a golden chestnut seed. What would be a golden chestnut tree? So, oh, look out. There's an epiphany, Tiffany. There's clarity here. Ooh la la. This is a download of a spiritual mission. This is a wise one here. See, the wise ones have been cloaked. You can't see them. But they're coming out. God showed me. The wise ones. Watch out. Because they're going to expose stuff. They're the detectives, the spiritual detectives here. Right? Roast chestnuts. Hey, Kenneth. Yeah, chestnuts on the fire. I can smell them. So look at this. The cycle closes. This is, everything's closed. Everything done in this last 12 month cycle. It's like verdict. That's the word, verdict. The verdict. The evidence have been presented here. The evidence is being presented in the courts of heaven. <laughs> I got goosebumps. Whoa. I got goosebumps, right? So there are all these secrets coming into light. It's no more sitting in this delusion. It's an illusion. You've got to get into reality. So somebody's shook here. Who's, who's that? <gasps> Oh my gosh, right? So there's been a, a DNA structure change here for somebody. And God said, you can't see it. But well done for all the tears, right? Because you can't see what's happening in the spiritual. When it's happening, right, it's not a good feeling. It feels like people are against you, people don't like me, right? Do you know what I mean? Like, anyone... Coming into your energy field of your bubble. If they're thinking about you, they're talking about you, whether it's good or bad, right or wrong, right? It doesn't matter. They're in your energy field. That's why we talk about energy so much. Because I can pick up if you're talking about me, thinking about me. Do you know what I mean? I can hear what you're saying at a distance. So I know. And then you see people come in all fake. And you're like, hang on a minute. Are you going to stand on what you said? Right? So this is it. This is breaking that. It's like, nah. I don't even have to hear it. I just have to trust in the moment that they arrive in my energy field, I have to trust my radar system. Right? It's like you do a dzz, 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 and print it out. Darth Vader. <laughs> Darth Vader. Not Darth Vader. R2-D2. Right? I don't know why we're in Star Wars. I never used to watch that. So this person's like, whoa. What I thought was love was not love. It was just pain. I was just recycling my parents' pain. And that's over. It's a pain cycle. It's a 12-month cycle. See? 12 months. Solstice. Closes it. Super new moon. <gasps> yeah, then we get the super new moon. Right? So this energy that's coming in has affected the collective and the wise ones are awake. This is a um, an energy of a divine masculine I've got goosebumps, right? Who's standing in his power. Remember I talked about the elements, earth, air, fire, water. Right? So he's in balance. That's how Father uses you when you're in balance. Because he uses the elements, yes? <gasps> Having revelations in the reading, don't mind me. Right, so here is a revelation also that you are the seed of God. <laughs> the power of God is within you. It's not outside of you. 
and he sent himself forth in you. So look, this hermit, this wise one, this is a wise one activation in this solstice. So this hermit, this masculine, I would just going to do a reading. This is about the masculine energy because of the high priest and energy, the feminine energy, the Sophia Christos template. The Sophia energy is like Eve before Eve. There was Sophia. Like I talk about Lord Sananda and then Jesus, right? There's a higher vibration. There's multi-dimensions. And here is bringing the highest vibration down. So this high priestess here, which may be you, right, is about to get her payout from passing all the tests in this 12-month cycle. Look at that. See how they're going through the records? It's like God opens the books. The books are being opened here. I just heard Akashic records cleared. This is epic. And then look what you get. Ah! Oh, wow! It just manifests out of the blue, right? Like that. So this is passion and love because this cycle's over. Look, you get the compensation. They're actually looking at it now. Look, it's coming down from the heavens. This is God's angels. He's sending angels. These are earth angels that are administering this payout to you. Oh, goosebumps. So lots of you like surprises, right? But I don't. So let's have a look at the Ace of Pentacles here before we go into the next step section of the reading. Ace of Ace of Swords. See how that's the transition into the actuality? Wow. There's a transition phase for the next two days into... See, when you stand in the, in the sword, this is the Excalibur sort of truth to me, because we are lifting the Avalonian template. We're preparing the way for King Arthur. And the round table. <laughs> but it's cleansed and pure. Just getting a download from the Avalonian template. Don't worry. Must be lifting. Yeah, because of the solstice. You find um, that you're, bet you're betrothed, right? Thank you, Mary. I love you. Missy K, I mean. Mary. <laughs> Look at that. Transitioning into reality. I mean, from reality to actuality. So there's four stages here. It's closed. This is closing. So on the 22nd, you get the key. So this looks like a divine masculine or a wise man, right? And he's got the key now. Because he's transitioning into, so when you have the truth, your integrity, and you're aligned with it, right? That's the truth that fights you. It fights and clears the way in the future. See how the truth is fighting? So that's why, you know, Jesus says the truth will set you free. I know I don't want to go into that, but God's saying that that will be exposure. Once you're settled once you've received your compensation right you will then after that hear the verdict right which is not good because it's like eternity we're talking about eternity that's why we're in the spiritual we're talking about ourselves for eternity not life you don't get life imprisonment no in actuality you get eternity <laughs> it's a big difference so this Ace of Pentacles is coming to you and it's because you've transitioned into the omnipresent moment of now and it's the only place you can receive that. It's not easy to get there because the mind, 
is the devil's playground. Look, wow. <laughs> Look, restricting you from your love, your love affair. He wants to block the heart. He wants to keep you in indecision, doubt, worry, fear. And just run your life clock out. <gasps> Look what just came out, right? So this is all hack. Three aces. So the increments, right, until you can get into this high vibrational union, right, Kundalini is matching the vibrational match, right, this divine masculine has had to um, receive the intuitive guidance, like the feminine energy, right, so he's new to this, but then his wisdom from the ancient, it's ancient memory codes that keep showing me, Archangel Michael. Let's have a look. We were looking at the compensation. So I think it's your divine partner. That's your blessing. And also you get a seed, a golden seed of light. I know it doesn't make sense, but just let me tease it out for a minute. We're just asking Michael here about the compensation because I don't want to really read about the verdict, right? Because eternity is a long time. So this is your message. This is your message, whoever's here now watching with me. I know it doesn't seem like it, but you're on the right path. The angels are helping your person here. Let's say it together. Say, thank you, romance angels. I call upon you now. I give you permission and ask. And thank you for preparing us both for union. For clearing out the pain and for opening our hearts. There's a heart activation here. Opening our hearts so that we can forgive each other and learn to love as Jesus loved us. I was saying that to Jesus last night. I was like, I have to get your love because you want me to love others as you have loved me. <laughs> and then look. This is happiness on a whole new level. So God said, I will take care of all your needs. You just have to stand in happiness. You go, well, I'm not there. Like, oh, you're over here. We started with, right, the six of cups. Five of cups. So you're going from the five of cups to happiness in two days. That's a transitional phase. A lot of you are already on your way. A lot of you don't even realize that you're wise ones. And this whole attack spiritually has refined it and made you aware of who you really are. Thank you for helping me open my heart to happiness. You go, where's happiness? Could I go to Aldi or Walmart and get 3,000 liters of happiness? <laughs> Joy and bliss. This is your compensation. I am willing to see all of the goodness in my life. Archangel Michael saying the romance angels are helping your person navigate their way to you. There's a favourable outcome in the heavens. See, the courts have ruled in your favour. And it's balanced and fair for all involved. It's genius. It's ingenious. So you are the rainbow warrior. That's all you have to worry about. That you're plugged into the earth. That you're connected here. No black dog of depression. And no worry, doubt and fear in the mind. And as long as you can do that, then you give your heart, right, for healing to Yeshua. And then you stand in happiness in the middle of a friggin' chaos. Wow. Are you ready? Are you ready? You haven't felt love like this before. This love is backed by wisdom and ancient spiritual texts are arising and awakening and you've cleared your Akashic records. Da -da -da -da. Sorry, I'm just clearing the energy. So bringing the romance angels and we're just going to look here for everybody watching in the next 72 hours for romance wise ones online so 72 hours would be the close 22nd so i'll be here with you through the solstice 
And if you can ask any questions, let me know your name, your location, and your sun sign. And um, so we can do more signs of who's watching. Because there's lots of depth at the moment. Because when you're in the delusion, you have no idea about the actuality. That's the trick of the devil. <gasps> I just heard moving house. Opening of the heart. See, when the heart's open, when you really feel it, I'm telling you that there's no questioning. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's just ever present. And so if your heart's connecting to another one who's ever present, the flow is ecstatic. Like it's charged. So if that's not happening, control or delete, detach, step back, stay open, next. The trick is not to keep shut down, right? Because the shut down, pull away method is what we learn to protect. We learn that as children. There's a healing here of the inner child, right? Imagine that. And we ask the Father to rain his holy fire down upon you and to reach his hands down to lift you up and give you power that your inner child may be healed in Jesus' name. So then you can relax and retreat. Look, that's a honeymoon. Like, was that like back in the 80s? Bows, remember bows? I had bow shoes. Remember those? You have the bow on the top. What? This is in the past. Right? So through all that, we don't have to really understand what's happening, but this is the preparation. And through all that, it's like this person loved you before they met you. Right? They're calling you, calling them. Don't think they're not. It's synchronicity. Whoever's meant for you is calling you. Their heart is. Isn't that amazing? Thank you, Kenneth. And this is our soul, our soulmate Reiki as well. It can help clear the pathway through your heart. The karmics. It does it. So you go, well, now I know the red flags. I have to do an extension on that. Why do we need that one? Playfulness, right? Fun and flirtiness. Because, you know, you don't want to have a player. Somebody who can't decide. Do I want that one or that one? It's like, bye. You just made your decision. I'm not in your delusion. <laughs> and that creates the space. Exit stage left. Enter. Da -na -na -na. This is new. This is exciting. These apples are not poisoned. Keep showing me like Hansel and Gretel and the witch and the boys and apples. And I'm like, why is it always about the apples? So there's something else in there, right? But somebody's free now. So this looks like also, like you're free to move, right? If anybody couldn't move, they're free. They don't have any contract. They don't have any lease. They don't have any legally binding um, marriage contract, mortgage contract, bank contract. Right? This has all been lifted up and out. like It's like a digging the root out. There's been an upheaval. So we have here calling in your soulmate. They're calling you, calling them, calling you. Oh! You don't even need to go out there. You just need to get your heart signal louder. So your heart signal, you do that with Twin Flame Reiki, Soulmate Reiki. They're available on Vimeo in the links below because you want to activate this, don't you? Their family tree looks like a telegraph pole <laughs> with no branches. Telegraph poles don't have branches. So new love, new, exciting, can't bring the old, can't take the old pain. Hang on a minute, I'm just going to go and get my old pain ah, and put it here. You can't talk about it, you can't regurgitate it, you can't think about it, it can't be in your energy field. It's gone for good. Don't bring the past and put it into your future. Standing in the reality of now, you're clear. So you could reintroduce yourself to your twin flame, 
I just heard. All right, so what are the red flags here? Let's have a look at the red flags. I just thought that was a great analogy of the indecision. I loved it. Thank you, Father. It's like, whoa, whoa. Indecision can rob you. We're just having a look here. Pay attention to the red flags, right? Because look, it's underneath here. This could be the one. Why would it be under there? Let's pay attention to the red flags and then playfulness. I mean, playerfulness. There's a Freudian slip there. Pay attention to the red flags, please. Let's have some clarity on that for your children watching your father. So it's like, of mine own self, do nothing. The more you can let go, the more you can go into your heart and cry it out, the pain from the past, the clearer you're going to be. And that's Whoa. This is a spiritual investigator. I know, it's self-reflection. This is a, a wise one, right? Psychoanalyzing themselves. <laughs> Going, ooh, did I really, was I really in illusion, delusion? And see how that's every, that quilt here is every star sign is in it. So that's, tw that says 12 months of psycho babble. You know, people, most people, psycho babble. And this person's looking at, this is a divine masculine going, I just psycho babble <laughs> my life away. <laughs> Sorry. Looking at their weakness. Right. Let's pay attention to the red flags. See there's red flags there, there's red flags there. No. Please give me the message really clearly, Holy Spirit. Okay, this is going to be really clear. So walk away from indecision. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyone that has to, can't decide over you or something else. Bye. You made a decision, mate. See ya. Right? So you're like, I'm not going to give my heart away to anybody who's not giving it to me. I want somebody. I want happiness. Hang on. Because this is the outcome, look. But this is above the sun, so this, oh, you don't know this. This is my, I'm not telling. I'm not telling. Ah! I'm not telling you. And then you got the sun and the chariot. Underneath the ace of cups. Somebody's heart's open. Because there's no questioning, and you can feel it. Otherwise, it's all in here and here, but here. This is a new elixir of love. And for this to flow like this, see, there can't be pain. That's why the pain, you go, I asked for love. I did soulmate Reiki and I met nine soulmates. I was like, hang on a minute, what's going on here? So that's cleared now. No pain here. The new fountain of love. Could be a new car, could be a holiday. This is ecstatic joy. This is the most positive card in the deck. The sun is here. And we're looking at the red flags. So somebody's seen the red flags. And what were they? Indecision. Right? Small mindedness. This is the delusion. Right? So this is like um, thinking about the right now moment, not thinking long term. This is small mindedness. Right? And then you're in indecision, you're in this tiny little box. Right? So this, you haven't, you can't see this. Somebody's come out of that. This is a miracle. This is a new look. 
Thank you, Kenneth. This is a brand new star. Somebody's awakened. The heart chakra's awakened and it's on fire. And there's no question. They're in actuality. Whoa. All right. And in actuality, everything's clear. There's no indecision here. Look. Hello. Any indecision here? No. This is victory. This is clarity. This is moving forward with ease and grace. And this is an awakening of the heart chakra. I see this as a, um, a collective of wise men. Wise men. Wise ones. So don't worry, right? The, the red flags are gone. It's new love. Can't bring the past in. This is more relaxed, easier, it flows. Say thank you to the Holy Spirit for that beautiful message. And what an amazing collective you are. Right? Because no one knows the pain you went through. Right? It's done behind closed doors. So the more pain that you have, like God said, if you think of your heart chakra as a container, right? And he wants it to be as everlasting supply. It holds his everlasting supply. So when you came in, it was big and it was full of the pain. That's all. Just think of it like a container. And whatever circumstances had to happen to trigger you to release that pain is a part of your story. And the people that did it are a part of your tribe. So you'll go from the tribe that helps you get it into the reality. That's your 3D tribe. Right? That's Gonski. Gonski. Now we're in the 5D tribe on earth. So you're bringing words of light, hands of light, symbols of light, and you walk paths of light. Sorry, it's just so amazing for me. When you look at vibration and you think of every single person, right, that is activating through this solstice, is anchoring the solaris, or they're anchoring the energy. We're anchoring the energy. So take your shoes off, walk in the path, barefoot along the beach. And you're anchoring the light. Also, you know, toxins come out of your feet. You can cleanse, detox by putting those things on your feet. You know, those herbal patches. But I find nature works. You can bury your feet in the sand, in the dirt. Ground it. Mother Gaia will take out your pain. Okay, so let's look at painless, deathless love. Everlasting love. This is where the heart chakra has never felt like this before. This has never occurred. We're an hour. Whoa. You're receiving a lot of healing in this reading. Thank you for being here. Let's have a look at your love snapshot. For the love flame angels are here. And then we're going to get a message from the Holy Spirit. I knew that. That's the wise ones awakening. God said they are awakened. They are being revealed. Ooh. I just got a heart chakra move. They're being revealed. See how that's behind, like that's not being revealed? It's like I loved you before I met you. So in the spiritual world, right, they're showing me that the um, contracts have been made and it's free will choice. That's why we're talking about this solstice because it's been a free will choice on love, really. And in the galaxy, when I say we have those meetings, that's when we're giving out the profiles and the matches and who's right to meet in 3D for the mission. Right? It's eternity. It's eternal. We're moving from now, time, to eternity. So we're going from time and space to space time. Mwah! Hello. Let's have a look here for you. So we'll do you on the left, your person on the right, and the shared energy in the middle, yes? Let's have a quick look. And we'll wrap this reading up for you. I hope you've enjoyed it. So just know that it can be turbulent the next two days. But the wise ones are emerging. Things are being revealed. And you are to receive your compensation. Don't get tricked. We're thinking of you this very moment. There's a love. 
Once the hearts connect, game over. Because now it's not about the other person, it's about me speaking up on behalf of my own heart. This is where we change the vibration. This is the Project Nova Gaia. It's no longer run by the mind of the devil, but by the heart of the saviour. Oh, stop it. Okay, so they're going to be in your arms very soon. You may not know anybody, but you may not know who it is. And that you're asked to clear this energy. You may not even know who this is yet. But they're about to step forward. And they're about to reveal themselves. right? And when they do, it's going to seem like a miracle. You will gasp. <gasps> like that. Like that. Because this is your timing. At the close of this solstice, the miracle is here. So this, that's just your shared energy, divine timing for your miracle. Your person over here, right? This is you, sorry. You're ready. This is your person. They're surrendering, right? This is a breaking down of the ego. This is the control. That's the Oh, that's the red flags, the control, trying to control everything, right? And then just flowing with it. So you've got to decide to be happy and laughter. So your person makes you laugh. And what a release. Romance and laughter. What a good combination. See how they support each other? You say, I've done nothing wrong. I did the best I could with what I knew. Right? So you're just going to remember that your Heavenly Father will pull you through and assist you through your tribulation if he sent it for you to grow. If it's sent by the devil, you pray your way out. That's it. You only got two ways. That's why at the Heart Dwellers Lounge we'll be doing a few sessions today and through the solstice. So I want you to um, get up to date there so that you're ready. Because who knows? God just prepares me. He doesn't tell me all the time. But I now believe enough for... <laughs> now I trust enough, right? In my own intuition and in my own heart. To know that whatever he's bringing me is preparing for something better. He doesn't want me to sit here and look at the past. You go there and you feel it and you howl it out, write it out, sing it out, punch it out. Just don't drink it out. <laughs> I must say though, an alcoholic beverage is good for the tummy. God, Jesus says, drink a bit of wine occasionally for your tummy. Can you believe that? To help its infirmities. Here we are. You are looking at the situation. A situation from purely a physical perspective. And therefore you cannot see the bigger picture. And the blessings interwoven within the event. Woohoo! Thank goodness for that. Where your angels urge you to trust. For all will work out in the best way possible. Let go of your fear of apprehension. And allow God's healing energy to flow to you. Trust, for all will heal in ways you never thought possible. Wow. So we say, I'm open and receptive to all good. I now walk in the charm circle of divine love, of God's love. God's love flowing through me now draws to me all that I need. To be happy and for my life to be complete. We thank you to the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, name, amen. We send holy angels before you to make easy and successful your way. Remember, it's the heart that matters. Nothing else. Zero nada. So I love you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for supporting my channel and for your